Uh, fourth one down on page two. Divine truth results in freedom. The truth will set you free. All right. A lot of people don't really believe this, right? What do a lot of people really believe? The truth gets you in trouble. The truth gets you in trouble. Mm -hmm. Right. The truth doesn't set you free for most people. The truth they feel creates more burdens. But it's not truth that creates burdens, it's error that creates burdens. The divine truth really sets you free completely. And that's why I've said there that because they free you from error, they also free you from pain. Because remember, error is the cause of all pain. All emotional error is the cause of my emotional pain. And also, even in your personal life, divine truth can result in freedom. For example, let's say a woman is being abused in her life, in a relationship, right? What's the truth she's not accepting? <coughs> that she's worthy of more. Exactly. Yeah. She's not accepting or the truth. Of just loving herself and not allowing to live in that sort of thing. She's not accepting the truth that her husband, who's saying "I love you," is actually and it's not "I love you," right? Because it's all just nothing words coming out of his mouth if he's abusing her. And she's not accepting the truth that he doesn't love her. Can you see that? Yeah. Now, because she doesn't accept the truth that he doesn't love her, she stays in a trapped relationship. So she's, what she's done is she's placed these bars around her life of all the emotions she doesn't want to experience. And what's one of these emotions is, I'm unworthy of love. Right? So she places these bars around her, and she's made a cage for herself. And because she's unwilling to face the truth, which is like destructing the cage, she remains in this state, this stagnant and trapped state. But as soon as she starts facing the truth, she realizes in a second, anybody who physically is violent towards me can't love me. It's impossible right, for them to be loving me. No matter what word is coming out of their mouth, they are not loving me. <coughs> right? And once she emotionally feels that he doesn't love me, she'll go through a huge emotion, won't she? She'll cry maybe for days or you know, a few days. And it might even connect her to some emotions <coughs> from her childhood of her father not loving her. And she'll cry her way through that. And why wasn't I worthy to be loved by my father? And all those kind of issues will start coming up, right? If she allows them. Once she's worked through all of that issue, what does she feel then? I'm lovable. And at that instant, she realises that I don't need to stay in this relationship anymore. I'm worth more than this. And she leaves. Right? So what is it has to truth created for her? Freedom. 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 That's what truth does. Even in your personal life, if you accept it. All right? Divine truth, God's truth, creates this <coughs> huge freedom. What will happen in the end is you can be able to express your free will in this awesome way that is totally unimaginable to you at the moment. And it will all be because you've lived in this state of truth and now your free will is able to be expressed completely.